do a quick video here about um, one of the objections you'll hear from people is that they'll say, well, the Bible was written by men, you know, and therefore, you know, the presume uh, um, follow-up is that therefore it's either intentionally or unintentionally um, changed or altered in some way. Um, it's fallible. Um, but really, this is not just a question on the history of the Bible. This is a question on the existence of the God of the Bible. If the God of the Bible exists, then he is the God of heaven and earth. He upholds all things by the word of his power. And he said his word would not pass away, that heaven and earth would pass away, but his word would never pass away. And so, therefore, um, if he doesn't exist, as we you know, argue presuppositionally, there's no foundation for the laws of logic, for science, for history, for uh, our sense perception being uh, valid um, you know all the problems of philosophy induction all these things we appeal to um, to show that God must exist or thought is not possible so it's really an attack on the existence of God but um, the other thing we, we want to point out I mean you know you could argue you could get on the route of arguing uh, for the, that the Bible has been preserved because of the prophecies in the Bible like you know Christ's death and resurrection for our sins, that's a historical element to that, and a historical uh, fact, and it was prophesied in Scripture. So you could argue that way, but that again presupposes, you know, history presupposes uniformities in nature. It, it, you know, it assumes that laws of logic that we utilize now apply in the past equally and to all facts, and that you know facts are relevant to the logic. So this this presupposes a worldview, um, which Christian church or the Christian faith does provide so you could you could go that route but presuppositionally you know it's it, it's necessary to presuppose the existence of that God and so therefore the preservation of his word would follow uh, un unalterably from that because he reveals himself through his word and the reason God reveals himself through his word and it, the word was written by men is because it points to Jesus Christ that Christ is the Word made flesh, and so therefore for God to reveal His truth and His Word through men would point you to Jesus Christ. So that would be a reason you could point to for why God used men. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Jesus Christ, it's okay.